Hi there and welcome to the video. We'll be looking at how we can create a gradient inside of our Flutter applications. You'll notice that we have a gradient here in the body, but we also have a gradient here inside of the app bar. We'll be looking at how to use a plugin to achieve this functionality. So let's dive in and have a look at how we can achieve that inside of our Flutter applications. So if we take a look at our homepage, you can see we have a very simple build statement and that is only a scaffold which contains the app bar. And of course we have things like a centered text with some styling such as font size 48 and so on. Now the most important part of this at this moment is of course the container. The container allows us to add a decoration. So let's add a decoration to the container like so. And the decoration can be a box decoration and the box decoration allows us to use a gradient. So this gradient can be a linear gradient. And if we take a look, you can see things like colors, begin, end, stops, and tile mode. We'll be starting off at the colors, which is a list of color. So that will be a list maybe from colors.red to colors.blue. Once we save the file, you can see that instantly we have this gradient background. It was really easy as that. We want to now maybe change the color of the font to be color.white or rather colors.white and save the file. You can see now maybe we have some white text. We can also change the way in which this linear gradient is aligned. So we can maybe take the begin at alignment.top left and the end at alignment.bottom right. Once we save the file, we have a nicer gradient. We can also at different stages determine where we want particular colors to stop. You can think of this almost as the fraction of the gradient that you want to take up per color. So we'll just use this as an example. If we say stops and we say 0 0.2, 0 0.9. As well as locking at alignment, we can also add stops. And stops allow us to determine how much of a color, so you can think of this as how much of a fraction of the gradient is taken up by a particular color. So this can be seen if we be a bit daft with this and we say 0 0.9, 1. We can see that the blue color doesn't take up much space. Whereas if we said 0 0.5, 1, it starts to creep a bit closer to the middle there. And you can make this a little bit more interesting if we had different colors. So for example, colors.purple, colors.yellow. And you have to have the appropriate stops for the amount of colors that you have. So notice how we use two at that point, we now have to use four. So let's maybe add at 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and one. And of course we start to have a more unique gradient and you can see how we would have more control over the type of colors and where they stop inside of our app. But what if we wanted to add a gradient to our app bar? How would we do that? Well, we'd need to use a plugin at this moment. It isn't possible, or rather it is possible if you create your own app bar, but then of course you maybe lose out on some native features. So a way to do this right now is to use the plugin and the plugin is called Gradient App Bar and you can add that to your pubspec.yaml. And this of course is just for demonstration purposes. You may not want to use this in production, but of course, if we then head over after importing this and installing it in our project, we can then import this by importing the package gradient app bar slash gradient app bar dot dot. Then all we need to do is replace our app bar with a gradient app bar and apply both a background color start. We can say maybe this one will be colors dot red and background color end colors dot blue. And when we save the file and the application restarts, you can see that we now have this gradient app bar. So that's how we use gradients in Flutter inside of our application. I'd love to know what you think of this video. And if you'd like to see more Flutter content, do let me know inside of the comment section below. What are you struggling with with Flutter? What do you want to see? And of course, I can make the video. Until next time, I'll see you soon.